Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Charisma. To all my new K Squad members, welcome to the family. Let's jump right into this review. Okay, doll, so I am back with another wig review. But before we begin, yep, I finally got me a new camera. So no more clicking, no more noise. Um, I'm ex extremely poor after this purchase. So y'all can always donate to the Poor Charisma Fund. I will link my uh, GoFundMe, not my GoFundMe, but my Cash App below. I'm not playing. I'll be spending a lot of money to bring y'all this quality ish. Okay, girl? But anywho, that's not what we're here for, okay? Let's just go ahead and get into it. So today, we're going to be reviewing two wigs that have just came out from the Bare Lace Collection, which is say Chanel. First, what we're going to talk about is the Bare Lace 13 by 6 Unit 5. I have her in the color number 2. This, I believe, will be out this week, if I'm not mistaken, you guys. But let's just go ahead and get into the judge, okay? So this comes with non-lift melt bare luxe lace, 40% thinner lace, extra transparent bare luxe lace, 20% larger grid, undetectable clean pre-plugged hairline with baby hairs, true glueless 13 by 6 lace area, extra lace large area, this dissipates light for a non-reflective matte finish, and stronger reinforced tear resistant lace material. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a couple of photos, couple of videos, so you guys can see me with this unit on. But basically, this is Miss uh, 13 by six unit five. Okay, girl. Okay, y'all see this? Y'all see this? Um, so I had to cut a lot of this unit. There is a lot of hair going on with Miss Unit Five, girl, okay? But once I cut it and styled it, it was absolutely gorgeous. You guys already know when I talked about um, these bare lace units in my last videos, I believe I, I reviewed two or three, one of those um, curly ones, I believe. The lace on these units are absolutely, it's just mind blowing, okay? Now, I will say, the key to these wigs are the lace. It's not so much the wig itself, but that's what they're marketing here. They're marketing the lace to you guys, okay? Basically, the lace was bomb, just like the other bare lace that I reviewed. I mean, uh, it's still really light, very light. So with the um, wig caps, you guys, once again, I will pull them far back if I were you because it's really light and it shows everything. Also, what I did notice with the number five, I didn't have to like melt it at all. I remember the last bare lace I had, I just had to melt it like a really little bit, but not too much because that lace was melting, girl. It was melting into the skin. So I do love that about the unit. Now this is a 30 inch unit. It does say that it's layered, but I, to me it wasn't layered. I definitely had to go in and cut it. It does come in beautiful colors, 12 different colors, you guys. The colors were so gorgeous. I mean, they have Belage Go. Oh, they have Belage Hazelnut. Uh, they have that Chunky Highlight 27, the Belage Mocha, any color you want. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And as far as this being big head girl friendly, it is. And it is also small head girl friendly. It does come with that pre-elastic band back there. So I really didn't have to adjust any like straps or combs. And that's always a plus for me because I don't want them combs digging into my head, girl. And also with the lace, once again, you can throw that behind the ear and pretty much be good to go. I think that this unit is just gorgeous dolls. It's gorgeous. But enough about that curly one girl. We gonna talk about her later. Let's jump into what I'm wearing right now. This is gonna be the Sensational Bare Lace Wide Part and Aaliyah. I have her in the color Light Ash Brown. You can pick this up over at Elevate Styles for $35.88. I'm gonna link everything in the bottom box below if you guys wanna go pick up these units. But let's just go and get into the stats. Once again, it's basically the same stats that the other um, Bare Lace had, you know what I'm saying? With like the light lace and the grids and all that good jazz. And you guys, I used to fight against this color, this light ash blonde, what well, light ash brown, I would say. But I think it depends on what style the unit is in because this is banging. This is popping, okay? Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. The texture, the texture, the texture, the texture. Very soft, yakky texture. Soft, yakky texture, okay, but it's, Banging, like the density is great, not too thin, not too thick. I don't feel tracks going throughout the unit. Everything about this is just it, okay? Now, Miss Analia is from the new wide part unit. So it says here, wide pre puck lace area with five inch deep parting space, clean hairline with baby hairs for a natural look. And it says breathable mesh cap with wig band and silicone lining for secure glueless install. So I'm definitely here for the wide part as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of 
get down a little bit so y'all can see that white part with the ash brown you really can't see it because of the color but there is a nice deep white part going on up in there as far as putting this behind the ear you definitely can because there are no heavy ear tabs so i'm just going to stick this behind my ear now of course the little lace is popping out because i didn't melt it down but you can just tuck that under okay girl yeah and as far as tangling shedding on this unit I, it's very minimal i didn't get too much at all only when i like cut the lace off did i get a little bit of shedding as far as tangling none as of right now now as far as the length on this unit I'm gonna say 30 inches she's coming right below my bust area now this does look like a lot of hair you guys but it's very lightweight so for me I would rock this year round year round I would rock this once again it comes in beautiful colors uh, 12 to be exact this is everything and as far as the layering is concerned on this I think it's great usually with my small oval face I really need layers to kind of open up my face a bit. But I think because of the texture of the hair, the way that I have it on the right part, the right side part, you guys, it's really opening my face up. So as far as the layers, it's banging. It's like only two layers here, but it's nice. And I'm thinking it's really because of that right side part, because even on the stock card, it's a right part, a right side part unit. You cannot shift this unit. It's going to look really strange if you do. I mean, you can try if you want to, sis, but I think you should just leave it as a right side part, okay? Now, everything else about this unit is popping. I just want y'all to look. I mean, girl, this is just gorgeous. It's so gorgeous, you guys. And this is also going to be big head girl friendly as well as small head girl friendly. I do have a smaller size peanut head. I do have my elastic band adjusted right there. And I do have the combs adjusted only because I didn't melt this down. If I had melted her down, I wouldn't have had to uh, utilize the combs. But since I was reviewing two units, I didn't want to like slather stuff on the side of my head. Y'all know how I feel about that melt, okay? But other than that, I, I just, oh my God, I adore this. This is so pretty. Now, as far as the install on both of these, we we're going to go ahead and jump back to the Unit 5. The install was really easy. It reminded me of the install I did on the Bare Lace, I believe, number two or number three, whatever that curly one was. I didn't really have to do too much. I just went ahead and I kind of just cut this wig because the wig, like I said, was super long and it was not layered. So I needed it to cut it to kind of frame my face, to kind of shape it. After I did that, the wig was kind of coming around, put a little bit of water and mousse in her. And I was like, okay, this is popping right here. This is popping. So I went ahead, put her on. Remember, this is a 13 by six. So you do get room up at the top if you want to hit that left, right, or middle part. I opted for a right side part, I believe. I'm not for sure, I keep forgetting. But either way, went in with my MAC concealer, went in with a little bit, just a tiny bit, it got to be um, gel there. And I melted just a tiny bit and I was good to go. It really came out beautiful. I was really pleased with it. And then as far as Analia is concerned, once again, did this was even easier. I really didn't have to do much to Analia. Uh, right side part, cut the legs, put her on my head, didn't melt this at all. Went in with a wax stick at the crown where the parting is, went in with my MAC concealer, and I did put heat to this at 375 degrees on my flat iron, and it held the heat well. I will say, go through this with a flat iron. Once you hit that flat iron on this unit, it looks even more natural. It, it, I mean, just super gorgeous, right? So I didn't have to do too much to Analia. Like, I was just, I'm like, ran a flat iron through and I was pretty much done. So with the pros and cons of both of these units, so with the unit five, this is definitely too much hair. And if you don't like a lot of hair, this isn't gonna be the unit for you because you're going to have to cut the hair. It's just too much hair and it's not layered. Other than that, I don't have a problem with it. I think the lace is everything on this unit. It definitely is meltable and it's really, I mean, it's low maintenance. And that's what I like about the unit other than having to cut it and style it and all that. The lace makes it low maintenance. And I do love the price on both of these wigs sitting at $35. So yeah, the, the cons was only that the unit five was a little bit too long. And at first I was kind of, you know, a miss about the curls being so tight. But once I went ahead and shaped it to my face, I was okay with the curls and it's very lightweight. Just because it's a lot of hair, I'm telling you, it's still a lightweight unit. As far as the um, pros and cons on Analia, 
There's no, there's no cons. This is, to me, this is a perfect unit, you guys. The lace is popping once again. I love the white part. I love the right side part. I love the color. I love that it held the heat really well. I love the fact that the density is a bit thick, but it's not a heavy unit at all. It also fits great on the smaller head girls as well as the big head friendly girls. So I'm not mad at it at all. Once again, love the price range on both of these sitting at $35. I'm not gonna name any other wig brands but y'all really need to take notes like y'all really need to take notes sensational is keeping their foot on our necks for 2024 and i am definitely definitely here for it and it's and oh yeah speaking of sensation hell i was talking so fast shout out to y'all you guys they sponsored this video today so thank you sensational y'all the mvps that's pretty much it for this review if you enjoyed my content today don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button that's my face popping up on the screen there don't forget to sub to the k squad follow me on tiktok and instagram at leticia charisma 76 for more beauty and hair related content don't forget to hit my youtube shorts as well i'm always posting beauty content on my youtube shorts because you guys are constantly asking me like what makeup am i wearing like how to do this how to do that and it's like you guys hit my tiktoks and Instagrams or shorts like I say to every video and no none of y'all listen but anywho I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to stay beautiful and blessed as always bye